Well, hey there. My name is David. I'm Fletcher. And I got good news and bad news for you. Which one's the bad news? Uh, the bad news is I'm sending you to military school. I feel like I've earned this. The, good, the good news, news? Is, is it's anime military school. You get to do cool shit with swords. You look cool. This isn't type zero, right? <laughs> nope. Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Thank you, God. <laughs> so this is... Uh, this is the first... It's it's kind of a weird, complicated thing. It's the first game in the newest sub-series of the tri uh, the Legend of Heroes, which it's is itself a spinoff of Dragon Slayer. So this all dates back to like the early mid eighties. Uh, but the important ones, Trails in the Sky. Uh, the, so, there's sort of a cutoff before that, and everything after that takes place on the same continent. Uh, Trails in the Sky. That's F C S C and the third. The awkward naming scheme. Uh, so those three take place in the Liberal Kingdom. Then after that, there's two that haven't come out officially in English. Uh, it's Trails to Zero and Trails to Azure are sort of unofficial titles. Uh, those two take place in the uh, Crossbell State, I believe it's called. Mm -hmm. And then Trails of Cold Steel is here. We are in the Erebonian Empire. So uh, it's a it's a complete. A it, yep, there's this series is weird about birds. Um, oh so, god. <laughs> so yeah, the it, it's it's pretty much a clean cutoff from the previous games. Uh, it's new new cast of characters. You know, everyone else is in another country. They're off doing their own thing. So none of your favorites are showing up. There's no Estelle. <laughs> no, no Joshua. This is uh, a great pitch. We're <laughs> starting over and none of your favorites are here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, there's that girl that talks to birds. Uh, there's the wandering bisexual bard. He's, what? He, he might actually show up. I don't know. But uh, let's see. What else? Uh, it's like Professor Dumbledore. It's one of those. There's a, a, a full Dumbledore. And uh, let's see, Teen Girl Mayor, none of them. New cast. <laughs> Starting fresh on PC. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I guess I'll find out. Yep. Because I'm the blind one again. Yeah, well, I'm also pretty blind. I'm like two thirds of the way through the first Trails in the Sky, and I haven't played any of the others. Uh, there is a fan patch of those two that haven't come, or there are fan patches of those two that haven't come out officially. It seems like a real pain in the ass to set them up. So we'll see if I need it that bad when I get there. Mm-hmm. But uh, each series should be, pr uh, should work pretty well standalone. We'll find out. So we got, e you know, usual, easy, normal, then, uh, we cranked up all the numbers. And it's just don't, just don't even. I like that it says <laughs> balanced for new game plus. That's nice. Yeah. In red text, it's just like, just, just stop right there. We're going to do normal. All right. I think we are both used to playing RPGs. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is uh, two years-ish after Trails in the Sky. I don't know how long a year is in this world, but... Let's let's That's presume a year. That's usually a safe assumption. Sometimes it's weird. You mean like how FF13 has a world where the days are 13 hours long? Sure. That's a real thing. I, I've played a lot of that game. I didn't know that. It's no use. Can't even scratch them. What's happening? Who's in control of those things? Get in touch with the 4th Armored Division! We need backup from Lieutenant General Craig! Didn't expect voice acting. There's a lot of voice acting. Hmm. Uh, there's actually more than it is in the Japanese version. Though I think I think they are adding lines to the parts that they added lines to for the... the this game's coming out on PS4. 
Gotcha. That's okay. A whole, you know, tanks blowing up, or tanks blowing shit up everywhere. It's okay. We've got a bunch of uh, school kids here to save the day. Well, we don't seem to have a lot of anyone else, so... Yeah, they're, we're running out pretty fast. This is awful. What happened here? How oh, terrible. I can smell smoke. Are they using gunpowder? They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all along. Which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. They wouldn't! Huh. How low can they possibly sink? So, they're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? Is this, this Valkyria is Chronicles? Outrageous. You know, I haven't played that. It's a, a similar aesthetic, though. Okay. Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Reen's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. I'm not about to let those terrorists have their way. <sighs> Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. All right. Reen, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nightheart. That's a, that's a hell of a name. One group yeah. Will secure the gun in the Especially right. that spelling. The other group will secure the left. This is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. I expect the best from each of you. Yes, sir. All right, Class 7. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the Academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Ah. <laughs> They're a little intense. All right. Remember those controls? Good. Remember how to save? I, Good. I get what they're going for with the camp menu, but it just makes me feel like John Waters should be narrating. Okay. So, number one, I'm going to save and quit because I messed up. My controller is not set up correctly, which is why he's just I bouncing wondered. between walking and running. Hold on. <laughs> Much better. All right. Woohoo! So this is Rain. He's the main character. There's some other characters. Right. Hello, Rain. It's Whoa. Turn. Remember Final Fantasy IV? Leave it to me. Yes. You can just be My whoever. Turn. All right. My turn. I've got this. Again, giving me way too many uh, Type Zero flashbacks. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's. It, it seems pretty simple. I've only played through this whole prologue thing. Uh, you can run. But why would you do that? Because the PC version allows you to speed up the game. Then you can run like looking really silly. <laughs> Alright, that's a cool function. You can speed up battles too. And it shouldn't it it shouldn't affect uh menu driven stuff. Good. So Yeah, there's all of that. Reen is a little bit weird about corners I noticed. Like so. But yeah. you know. This was a Vita game. Can I think I think it looks extremely nice considering, but you should set your expectations fairly uh not low but keep them in check i've seen far worse ports absolutely it's it, it seems like it's an extremely good port we're just gonna take a nap real quick and that time another 17 <laughs> men died so that's uh that's an orbment charging station okay that's just I don't know. That's just uh, game uh, conceit, as far as I know. They just they just put it in there and said, "I don't know, ornaments." Ornaments uh, sound like a brand of something I'd buy at the checkout counter. Yeah, we'll we'll get into that eventually. We can't actually get into most of the menus here. But Holy crap, we are pretty potent for the start of the game. 
So yeah, we've got we got six characters. I'm I'm pretty sure this is a flash forward, <laughs> and we'll, gotcha. we'll we'll jump back and we'll learn how we got here. But uh, so it's four characters in your party. You can swap out any back members, like so. Mm -hmm. Just keep it as it was for now. Uh, we got the teacher. She's a higher level. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's some notes which will give you help, except we haven't gotten any of the tutorials yet. So, there's that. Uh, let's see. Let me hit other buttons. All right. That bumps that the camera right behind you. Uh, there's the map. It's 3D-ish a little. I could see that getting a little confusing over time. You know, it at least clarifies. That's fair. Yeah. Let's see what other buttons we have. That just goes back to that same menu. See. My turn. It's my right. turn. My turn. Go. Okay, and I think L2 is also a, a hotkey to a uh, to a menu. You can hear it sort of beeping a little bit. Yeah, I can hear it giving me the buzz. But we we can't get there yet. Anyway, there's a battle back here. I see. Here they come. Thank God we're armed. <laughs> they look just like that thing we fought during our field study. Mechanical monstrosities. Save the talkie for later. We need to take these things out. Got it. I welcome all challengers. All right. So, there's a lot going on here. As far as I can tell, this uh, battle system is pretty much the same as uh, Trails in the Sky, just flashier. Okay. Uh, you notice the turn order on the left. That just shows, like, what characters or enemies are going to attack in which order. Uh, arts are magic. There is a delay between when you cast it and when it, uh, when it strikes. It seems to be different. They actually seem to t give you a number this time, so that's new. Uh, but nice. we're All not right. we're not gonna have most of these. I, I'm gonna assume that as soon as we're out of here, we're not gonna have most of these spells. So let's just do all the flashiest crap that we got. Fair. Actually, let me see if uh, it might tell us. Okay, yeah, it tells us just straight off the bat uh, what elements work against these guys. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Earth, water, fire, wind. Wind also includes lightning. Uh, looks like water is best, but she doesn't cast water. She casts lightning, so let's just do it. All right. Let's do it. Let's the, li light. the line thing seems to work a lot better here than it did uh, in Sky, because that was just kind of on a, on a set grid, whereas this is just you can kind of point it wherever. Dang. We'll be fine. I'm just saying, that seems like a lot of bullets. <laughs> We're fine. It's all good. My turn. Let's see. You, you see that big circle that appeared? That's uh, the range. If this guy was like outside of that, we wouldn't be able to hit him. So I think this it's is a little Neptune esque. Got it. Yeah, I think it's the yellow circle. I'm not. Not sure what the white circle is. That might just be the border of the whole battle. Probably. We're gonna, let's use a craft. Let's see. What do we got? Slices up enemies at high speed. That sounds cool. So yeah, some, some of them have an area of effect and you can see it. It'll highlight what enemies you can hit. Sometimes it's centered on an enemy, and sometimes you just pick a region and just sort of hope that they either stay there or wander into it. It's my turn. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not sure what the deal what uh, leads to Link Attacks. But, uh, okay. There's a lot going on here. But no, this is a tutorial. Can, yeah, you can, switch, uh, you can switch which character you're linked with. 
I don't know what causes those. It, it's kind of a Persona-esque follow-up attack, but I don't know what triggers it. And I don't know what the difference is between each different character's follow-up attack or any of that. Let's see. Grand Press. This is a fun one. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, see? You can just sort of point it wherever. But it's going to be after both of these guys move. So I'm going to set it down about here-ish. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Ah, the skill HP heal. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that is... On, on each turn, there's a chance for a bonus status effect. In this case, you get 10% of your HP back. Uh, you see down there, there's the blue. That's 10% of your EP, which is the blue bar. And the one below that on the teacher, uh, that's a new one. We'll see it in a second. Uh, where are hmm. we at? I'm gonna go ahead and go for that one. We are in absolutely no danger here, so it's fine. I would hope not. There's actually a fairly tricky fight coming up. A little bit tricky anyway. Those guys apparently are pretty good against Earth. Alright, so the really important thing... Uh, yeah, I... For whatever reason, I bumped her turn out of the one that I was going to show. The really important thing, you see where it says triangle and S-break? Yep. That means if you hit that at any time, any character in your party that has 100 CP can attack. And they'll... Nice. All right. It'll replace the... Uh, it'll if, if you're on the turn of one of your characters, it'll push them back down one slot. Uh, if it's an enemy's turn, it'll push you directly after what they're currently doing. Let's do a Calamity Hawk. All right. Yeah, this is incredibly Neptunia. Nobody told <laughs> me the Trail series was Neptune. <laughs> uh, I, you can also swap between characters. Like I said, just uh, swap your current character with one of these one of these fine students. Uh, I'll save her for later because she's got an interesting attack. Okay. Uh, what do we got? Can. Let's, uh, let's draw in and compress enemy. And That seems can... like a move that would be very good tactically. We can just go ahead and attack. It's fine. Hey. Yeah, see? We followed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what... I don't know why that happened then. Not other times. Of course. Movement down makes a lot of sense on robots with guns. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What else we got? I feel like Armor Breaker sounds pretty good. Shatter! Evil will fall before my blade. Yeah, so crafts burn uh, the CP, the skill points essentially, and mm -hmm. like I said, if you have over 100, you can do an S-break. Uh, S break. There's, oh yeah, and everybody gets like Link experience with like Jesus and Green get one. Laura and Gaius get one. I don't know what any of all that does. I assume we'll find out. It's it's like Lily Ranks. Again, Neptunia. And we get some stones. Cool. No doubt about it. Those things were the same as the one we fought outside the Graham. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw, too. It seems so. So these are archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? That's a terrible name. Yeah, <laughs> they're a kind of autonomous yeah. weapon made by a rather unsavory group. And a real pain to deal with, too. We need to hurry, but keep your wits about you. Understood. I love how the one just keeps saying understood in those <laughs> scenes. He, he is compliant, but unique. 
<laughs> so uh, I was saying um, the the CP CP meter of craft points. You can uh, if if it's over a hundred, you can that character can do an S break at any time. If it's two hundred, then it does double the effect, and this guy just nice. needs to notice no matter way. what. So that's fine. Leave it to me. Uh, what what else we got? Hmm. Yeah. That sounds fun. He vegeta He did Vegeta a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, remember, speak, uh, you mentioned Final Fantasy XIII earlier. Uh, yes. As you fight enemies, this starts to fill out. I've noticed. Makes sense. Makes sense. And the... Hmm. Is it just any physical attack? No. Maybe it needs to charge up or something. Hmm. Anyway. Let's, uh... Nope. Your turn. I'll take it from here. Yeah, so she has... She, she's got a weird layout here. Uh, but she has an Analyze. And I'm going to use that in the next fight. But for now, I feel like causing incan incandescent volcanic bombs to fall from the sky. It'll land on our friends, but that's fine. Eh. No, not everything has friendly fire. You're good. <laughs> let's see. Sure, let's do another war cry. Yo, she got hype. Yeah. Now. <laughs> the battle's over, but stay alert, everyone. Gee, I wonder why the person with the card captor Sakura wand has magic so well. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Uh, I can't look at the stats, but I bet hers is extremely high. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, unfortunately, not being able to, like, check what each character can do is kind of, kind of annoying. Uh, we would be able to do it through this ornament menu, but we'll get there. Don't worry. Orbent. There are so many wild names in this, but, you know, I was just see. referencing something with Lassies and Falsies. What can nope. I say? Bring it on! Tried to sneak up on him, but it doesn't seem possible. It happens. Let's see. I already cast that. Let's just do a regular attack and check out her S break. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, you recharge craft points by just doing stuff. Hmm. Oh, here we go. So this turn, she's got zero arts, which means her arts will cast immediately for no cost. Oh, so if okay. there's if there's something you're really holding back on, because you ca kind of want to conserve, up. it's time time to destroy it. Uh, let's see. I already did uh, volcanic rain. Let's yes. check out hydro cannon. Right. Wow, that I, is the weakness. I'm not sure if the zero arts will stay if you switch to another character. We'll find out later. Yeah, we'll figure uh, it out. Let's see, I think. Did I already cast this one? No. This one was really cool in uh, in Sky. And yeah, see, we can we can just cast it over here. You know, it's cool. And uh, he's gonna be a while apparently, but he's got an exclamation point there, which I believe means a critical turn. Oh, nice. So it's gonna hit really hard in a minute. Dang, you just Wizard of Oz those. Counting on you. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, you can also swap out uh, the Reen there on the left main character. Actually, you know what? I should probably heal. Uh, who has healing? You don't. 
I can't switch out characters again, because I already blew that. Ha. Huh. What do I have for items? Uh, nothing that, nothing that'll cure more than one person. That's fine. Yeah, well. What do you got for crafts? Hmm. Let's do a rapid thrust, because that'll keep him over a hundred. Okay. I'm sorry for the trouble. Understood. Okay, I think she's got water, yeah. But she doesn't have any heal spells. Cool. Ha. I got one, two. Uh, I haven't done an aqua bleed yet. My turn. Eh, he's just gonna die this turn anyway. Whatever. <laughs> That's the power of the eight waves. The eight waves. I assume we'll find out what that means. I hope so. So yeah, this is, despite what you see here, we have to uh, My turn. these games are fairly, like, slow and deliberate. Mm -hmm. Like, just because it started with a raid on an enemy fortress, it's more of, that's more of a, uh, like a teaser. Like, hey, some stuff is actually going to happen eventually, we promise. You know, I can get having to tease that, so. <laughs> open. An opening. Thrust. My turn. Okay. What else you got? Yeah, that sounds good. There you go. Arcus, hit everything. Uh, it's going to hit everything after everybody hits, though. Or after all of them get to attack. Firebolt. Hey, this guy's frozen. Poof. My turn. Oh, he just died. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's easy. Argus, activate. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, I love doing these just ludicrous, super t huge attacks on, like, one completely no harmless enemy. I've, oh, that's a nice I've, touch. You get a bonus for taking no damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does have that. I haven't really paid a lot of attention to what all the bonuses are. Okay. Anyway, I got a heal spot here. Hooray. Oh, I can also slash my sword. I forgot about that. I, I sort of figured that was how you attack things. It, it's it's uh, stuns the enemies. Sort of it stuns them on the map. It, it's extremely short. I think it's just so you can run past. Eh, like it's, you, still handy. It, it, it's not enough time to get behind them. Okay, uh, so I could I could save here. Uh, I've got actually a pretty aggressive auto save set. Mm -hmm. So we should be fine. We should be fine anyway, but even if we weren't fine, uh, we wouldn't be going back very far. Let's find out how fine we are. Where are we? This must be Borrelia Canyon. You can see Crossbell State on the other side. There! Probably not good. Those are the railway guns. They're enormous. Damn. How did they manage to get them prepped so fast? Don't tell me they're just gonna let them rip without even setting a target. Instructor! Well, they're certainly not shy about bringing out the big guns. Ugh, we don't have time for this. We need to take these things out fast. Right there with you. Let's send these greetings to the scrap heap. I'm not sure how I feel about her. Enemy 
blue haired girl yeah well uh, we'll give her some time all right uh okay so what i wanted to do first Sorry. switch out to her so see there's nothing there but I don't know why I'm pretending like nobody's ever used an analyze spell in an RPG before. Leave it to me. Mm. And let's see. He's out of craft points anyway, so I'll just switch back to main character boy. An opening. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, this will fill out eventually, but uh, that is a hell of a. There's a lot there's of a, there's a lot of numbers here. names in this. <laughs> Zephyranthes. Zephyranthes. No, it's a Zephyranthes. Or, uh, y have you never heard of them? Yeah. No, oh, I'm yeah. just thinking this is very lightning returns. Oh yeah, so the Sepith, the first seven are from Trails in the Sky. I don't know what that one that's a different shape in the end is. They, okay. they, may, they may have discovered that in a later game. Uh, but yeah, th these guys are like all so. about Earth. But what they're really all about is 200 craft point S breaks. Nice. This. I, l I love how over the top all of this is. It's a bit wild. Like, I, I suspect like 80% of this game will be just people standing around talking. The other 20% is this. <laughs> that does sound like a JRPG, to be fair. <laughs> Alright, you can attack him. This one's pretty good. Ooh, yeah. You're in the Saber. I don't know if I'll be able to kill all of them. I think I might have to actually fight normally. You're gonna, yeah. <laughs> but, let's see. Okay. Anyway, this girl, Magic Staff Girl, she's got the best one. By far. Okay. I was gonna save it, but she's up now, so. And she gets a crit. That that rules. That's how Ultima Knight is. So good. It's okay. They've got one too. Oh, whoa! whoa that looks like it hurts. <laughs> We're we'll be fine. My turn. I actually uh, healed one of you, huh? Did it? Oh yeah, pr uh, probably. Uh, Absorbed. Pro yeah. Yeah, probably an equipment thing. Anyway, right, we got one started. last one. Let's see what. Ooh. Let's see how much damage the teacher does. That's a good name. This one's pretty great too. They're all pretty great. We'll see how we feel about them in about forty hours. That would be on the low end of estimates for this game, from what I've heard. All right, so I believe these guys are weak to Earth. So yeah, let's just do it. I wonder if there's got to be a graphic for when you can do a link attack. Anyway, uh, you know what? I don't see any. I I can't think of any better way to end this. Right. That's fair. I'm gonna heal myself. Uh, yeah, these these are different numbers than you got in Trails in the Sky. Just lar all the numbers seem to be bigger. Well, this is also level fifty something. 
Yeah, but even the healing items. I shall fulfill my duty as a noble. He's a noble, apparently. Well, that's good, I guess. Yeah. You get all a lot of people stuff. from all walks of life in uh, the Thor's Military Academy. Or however you pronounce it. We'll find out. That's true. There's bonus voice acting. <laughs> a self-destruct mechanism. Is there cowardice no no bounds? We're running out of time. I'm going to go on ahead. Follow me as soon as you're sure it's safe to... Oh, that's not good. Nope. They didn't listen to him. No, clearly not. Oh god. Here we go. Here it comes. So this is where I just hit all that four and got out of the game. So everything okay. after here. No idea. <laughs> okay. I don't usually see abbreviated last names. <laughs> it's it's a fad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, neither of them were there. Crow armbrust. <laughs> Principal, Principal Van, Dyke. Van Dyke. Well, maybe Van Dyke. Maybe Van. That's Dick. my guess, but. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not good. Uh oh. I think I recognized oh. one of them. Also, there's a cat. I think it talks. It's, it's a JRPG. Oh, cool. I assume we're going to fight those three. I don't know. Almost guaranteed. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, we, we've really gone full anime on this one. Remember, this still takes place at a school. Hey, I can't believe we're going to military school. I can't believe you're going to military school. I'm cool and aloof. Oh, shut up, cool and aloof guy. You know, the whole the whole usual set. For Barahard. With the stop at the... Seldic. Yeah. There's... <laughs> and he's the only one on the train. There's a lot of things in this game with names. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we're... We got a lot of names coming. All right, how Harry Potter is this train sequence going to get? Hmm. We're already on a good start. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This train is bound for Vareahard via Celtic. Oh. The next stop is Trista. 
Trista, we will be stopped at Trista for one minute. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings are left behind. It's a pretty good train announcer voice. Almost there. I was actually thinking that, yes. Good direction. Man, spring's really in full bloom here, huh? Back home, there was still so much snow on the ground, I hardly even realized it. Said as both of us record this in the dead of winter. <laughs> yeah, it's been really cold the last couple of days. I'm sitting here under a blanket. That's a rarity. Let's just pretend we're here in a nice Erebonian summer. Mmm, Hey, I recognize some of those uniforms. <laughs> the whole cast and also just a bunch of nobodies. You got to have some nobodies, wow. otherwise nobody can die. <laughs> wow, everyone has the same hair color except for our class. Ha! That's not actually true. To be fair, they all probably <laughs> live here. That's easier. We're all horrible Gaijin students. Yep. Are those Lino flowers? I've never seen so many all blossoming at once. I'll be spending the next two years here. Wonder how long it'll be before I think of it as home. But yeah, I think I'm going to like it. I, four ga with four games to come, I'm gonna suspect he he's not gonna have a great time. <laughs> Ouch! Well, sorry about that. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's your fault I that happened. A better place to take in the scenery. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I should have been paying more attention to where I was going instead of gawking at the flowers. It's really a pretty town, though, isn't it? Just like a postcard. Yeah, I guess that's the magic of springtime for you. I hope everything in your case is okay. Oh, don't worry about that. It'll be fine. Hey, you've got the it's red It's actually a gun. Too, huh? It might be a gun. Yeah, but now that you mention it, almost everyone else on the train had a green jacket. You're one of the few I've seen in red. I didn't really think about it until now. I just put on the uniform they sent me. I hadn't given it much thought until I got here either. But yeah, like you said, there have been a few others sporting them too, so I doubt it's a mistake. Maybe it means we'll end up being classmates. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Don't I get too excited about that, Rain. I've got a Neither of you each gave other each other names. Ceremony, though. It's fine. We're gonna be classmates. I totally forgot to ask your name. <laughs> ah. Oh well, I'm sure we'll run into each other later. She's right there. Ah. It is weird that there are so few of us in red. Are there even enough to make a class? Well, if you want to okay, remember so either, everybody, then yeah. That orb either these are gonna be badasses, or they're too. going to be like special ed. Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering if we're gonna be like the problem class that. Ends up rising above. Sure looks a lot fancier than your standard issue orbit, that's for sure. Eh, guess there's no point in racking my brain over it. Someone will probably explain it during orientation. Thor's military academy is on the north side of town. I've still got some time to look around before the entrance ceremony, but hmm. it'd be pretty awkward to be late the first day. Yes. Are they going to let me do it anyway? They really were saying Thors. Okay. Yeah.
Okay. Easy enough. Go to school. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Go to school. Yeah. Well, we'll do that next time. Poke around town a little bit. <laughs> and we hope that you have a great semester at the Thor's Military Academy with us. Or not. Really, it's up to you. We'll find out together. Yep. Or the opposite of together. Still can't go into the Ormans. No weapons. I didn't bring a weapon to school. Damn it. But your shoes shine. Do they? They're leather. Yeah, see? Well. Ha! Well. Okay. Sure. Why not? Guess we'll figure that out. Okay, goodbye.